ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to That's Impossible! <laughs> Jesse Knight, with us all the way from Gallstone, Kentucky. Oh, gosh, they must be proud of you out there. Here is Mr. Claude Lobo! <laughs> Claude will attempt to shatter the world's record for opening a childproof aspirin bottle. Well, good luck, Claude. But remember, that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that was a real good try, but once again, that's impossible. <laughs> now, let's show our audience that we didn't slip them a little bit of a trick uh, aspirin bottle. So, how about it, audience? <laughs> <laughs> With our That's Impossible camera crew, we travel to this small town here in Indiana to interview a most impossible pair. This is Joe and Jack Dumpy. They recently wrote us about their problem. Would you tell us about it? Okay, I'll tell you the little problem first. We're Siamese twins. <laughs> That's the little problem. Well, what's it like being a Siamese twin? It's like having a monkey on your back. That's the little problem. What's the big problem? I like to shower every morning. I like to shower every night. You're getting soggy. Well, those seems like small problems. What's a big problem? I'm getting married. And I like to go to singles bars. I want a church wedding. I don't have a tux and I'm an atheist. My fiance wants to go on a honeymoon cruise. I get seasick. Well, that sounds like a big problem. Can't you compromise? No. Can you imagine the honeymoon night? Now that's impossible. Tonight we'll try to accomplish a feat that has baffled and eluded Americans in this century. We'll try to get a teenager off the phone. Audience, what do you think? That's impossible! We'll see.
Listen. Audience? That's impossible! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Really Real People. You know, we've received letters that the people we've been presenting, though real, are so far out that they're not typical of people everyone considers real. You know, lower middle class, easygoing, of average intelligence, who work hard, watch TV, drink beer, love one another, and live pleasant, if dull, lives. In other words, the people next door. Well, we went next door and visited the typical people living there. Now, the lady the house was out, but her typical husband was there. And now, here's our typical interview. Uh, Mr. Jones, you have a nice home here. What is it that you... I'm assistant manager of a supermarket. And how... I've been there seven years. <laughs> and are you... Yes, I'm married. No children. <laughs> well, is there any... Uh, that's a personal question, Mr. Harbour. <laughs> now, just a minute. How come you... Answer your questions before I've heard them? Well, it's simple. I have this ninth sense. Ninth? <laughs> Sorry, I goofed. <laughs> you only have five. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd better answer the phone. Phone? How'd you do that? Merely the power of suggestion. You suggest to your mind that it would be a good idea to be over there, and presto, you're there. I don't get it. Don't worry about it. Ah, I've been expecting this. Expecting what? This message. I can stay another 200 years. Okay, Buster, who are you? Nobody, just an ordinary Joe. Sure, and Donnie and Marie are Cheech and Chong. <laughs> no, really, I work hard, I watch television, drink beer. By the way, I like your suit. Thanks. Oh, don't mention it. 